Good afternoon and welcome to our Strange Worlds Tour. Please make yourselves comfortable. We have mapped the lay energy in this compartment for those of you who are sensitive to fey energy. Please know that the ley lines run north-south. And we are also providing chair dogs, although we ask that you do not feed the furniture. Now that you've gotten yourself settled, we will begin. Our first port of departure is the world of the land. A century ago, Lord Gerald Terrence sacrificed the lives of his family for immortality to become the most powerful and feared sorcerer on Erna. On Erna now, a force more powerful than he threatens all life, and only by teaming up with the young warrior Prince Damien can the two uneasy allies hope to stem the tide. Find out what happens next in Black Sun Rising by C.S. Friedman. We're going now from the world of Erna to the world of Pern. How far would you go for revenge? Less a daughter of a once proud and noble house lives in hiding in the smelly lair of a watchwear. Serving those who have betrayed and murdered her family has kept her alive, but the flame of revenge warms her heart. Less's chance comes in a sudden and unexpected way. The dragon riders come on search. Find out what they find in Dragonflight by Anne McElfrey. Going from, per from Pern to Dune, we find young Paul Atreides asleep in his room on Castle Caladan. He's dreaming. He's dreaming. Dune, Arrakis, desert planet. Never one drop of rain. He sleeps, he turns. He hears a voice, Mwadi, Mwadi, Mwadi. Thousands marching to war in the name of this strange Mwadi. And gigantic sandworms, slithering, silent, majestic, predatory beneath the sands of doom. Doom, Arrakis, desert planet. Find out what Paul finds out in Doom by Frank Herbert. And our final destination, the final frontier. From the past into the future, strange worlds are our business. We are Starfleet, the watchdogs of the universe. Have you ever wondered how we came to be? Here for the first time is the story of George Kirk, an engineer and father of Tim. By special permission, I will read one of the letters to, sent to his sons, George Jr. and James T. Kirk. Dear Sam and Jimmy, I know I don't usually call you that, but that's what you call each other, so I think I'm going to start. There are a lot of things I'm going to start as soon as we're together again. Jimmy, I'm sorry I didn't make it home for your birthday, but I'm going to make it up to you. You've, I've changed my mind about having you boys come up to the space station. Why shouldn't you come? Space is great, and the Federation is doing great things out here, and we're not going to sit it out. It's a tremendous feeling you get when you have a chance to save lives or cut new paths, and nothing's newer than what's out here. There really is a lot to see if you know how to look at it. We're on the verge of becoming a true interstellar community. I'm not going to make you boys miss it. My little problems won't get in the way anymore. Who knows? Maybe we can even convince your mom to come along. You ask her, okay? So come on. Come out to space. I'll be waiting. Love, Dad. Find out more in Final Frontier by Diane Kepler. And this concludes our tour of Strange Worlds. You can have other adventures in other books. You can find them in your bookstore and library. Please join us again soon, and have a good afternoon. Goodbye.